Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un heap praise on each other during historic first meeting. Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un heaped praise on one another during their historic first meeting. Moments after meeting for the first time, the two men shook hands and walked along a colonnade at the Sentosa Hotel in Singapore for a brief chat with reporters. The U.S. president said, I feel really great, we're going to have a great discussion and I think tremendous success, we'll be tremendously successful. It's my honor. We'll have a terrific relationship no doubt. Speaking through his Korean translator, Kim replied, The old prejudices and practices worked as obstacles on our way forward. But we've overcome all of them and we are here today the two men will now spend at least 45 minutes together, with just their translators for company. Tonight's summit is set to see Trump and Kim discuss the prospect of North Korea ditching its nuclear weapons program. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video to view this video please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video It began dramatically when Trump revealed his economic adviser Larry Kudrow had suffered a heart attack and was in hospital. The two men traded hair-raising insults as Kim tested missiles capable of reaching America's west coast last summer, with Trump warning he would respond with fire and fury like the world has never seen if provoked. However, relations have dramatically improved since then with Trump announcing the Singapore summit on May 10. Just two weeks later the president dramatically cancelled the talks in an open letter to Kim, citing tremendous anger and hostility displayed towards the U.S. He was referring to comments made by senior North Korean minister Cho sun hoo that Mike Pence was stupid after he warned the rogue state could end up like Libya. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo added that North Korea had failed to respond to requests by the U.S. to discuss the logistics of the meeting. But six days later Trump announced it was back on, after a visit to the U.S. from Kim's right-hand man Kim Jong-il, who delivered a letter to Trump. The president has warned that tonight's summit is unlikely to result in a dramatic shift in current North Korean policy but hopes that by opening a dialogue the communist state can finally be welcomed in from the cold. Trump has even been tipped for the Nobel Peace Prize should his efforts succeed.